Authentication in simple word is simply proving who you are. Let's start with basic authentication. With basic auth, the client sends a username and password with every request, usually encoded in base64. Let's move on to better token authentication. Instead of sending a username and password each time, you send a token. Another powerful authentication method is OAuth2 plus JWT tokens. So a JWT is a self-contained signed token that contains user information called claims. The server doesn't need to store sessions, the token itself proves the identity. OAuth2 is not just authentication, it's a delegation protocol. It lets one app act on behalf of a user without ever seeing their password. Let's look at single sign-on. With SSO, you log in once and gain access to multiple applications. For example, you use your Google account to access Gmail, Maps, Drive, YouTube, and many other services Google provides, but you only have to log in once. It usually uses OAuth2, SAML, or OpenID Connect under the hood, which are identity protocols. Let's take a look at Kerberos. Kerberos is a ticket-based authentication protocol often used in enterprise networks. Instead of sending passwords around, you authenticate once with a central server called the Key Distribution Center, and then use encrypted tickets to access services. 